Time to relay all the news about all my success, and then I'm going to... Fuck. Shouldn't we have told them that the Raiders were dealt with yesterday? You know, when we did it. Very astute observation, Mrs. Robot. But I had to build this rifle. Check it out. Even got a bayonet on it now. So now we can defend ourselves whenever we're attacked by assholes who insist on running up to us. Because I've noticed that's been happening a lot. No objections here. <sighs> Post-apocalypse is surprisingly physical. I mean, yeah, the running around, that's to be expected. But I wasn't expecting the fighting to get so physical. Uh, it looks like we gotta go around the quarry. I saw the neighborhood, that's all it is. Great for local business, but it never improved my quality of life. Looks like the pumps are leaking. How can you tell? Bubbles. Lots of them all coming up from the same place. Usually a sign that something's leaking air down there. That's rather observant. Not really. I learned it in an historically inaccurate submarine movie. They were kind of a fascination for me as a kid. That and lighthouses. And if ever the two were to meet, it would be weird. Because a submarine shouldn't need a lighthouse. You know, given that the submarine is vastly superior to the boat in every way. The boat can't even see rocks without a giant tower. I fucking love lighthouses. Oh, wait, hold that thought. Refrigerator. How'd it end up here? Is Indiana Jones inside of it? Probably not. And you know what? That'd be weird. How'd it end up here? Nuclear shockwave, perhaps. Please never say that again. Say what? It's nuclear. The U is silent. Nuclear. Better. Much better. Anyway, heard gunfire. Don't want anything to do with it. Come, dog. Or you you can lead. Yeah, okay. No, that works too. I mean, if you know where we're going, sh shit. I'm not entirely sure where we're going. Honestly, I'd imagine you have a better sense of direction than I do. I get lost just on the way to the store. <gasps> Puppies! Hello. How's it going? They look rabid. Probably shouldn't pet them. Thus, we are moving on. Come, dog meat. We must continue. Dog meat. Oh, for God's sake, dog meat. I see how it is. It can't just be a harmless passerby. Like, hey, how's it going? How's life in the wasteland? No, we have to kill each other. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Matthew Howard and his AI companion and dog friend are not going to meet the end of a bunch of rabid fucking dogs. I'm sorry, but there's just bigger and better things out there that can kill us. Specifically anything with the... Oh, shit. You okay? Of course you're okay. Why would I even... Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Specifically anything that uh, poses more threat than a dog. Like people with guns. Or people with mini nuke launchers. Still technically a gun, but... Actually, you know what? Probably more akin to a catapult. Uh, I need a trebuchet. Yeah, that's what I need. Heck, I'll be like that guy in World War II that fought people with a claymore and a bow. I mean, if the Japanese can run into battle with katanas, then why couldn't he? Damn it, now I want a katana. Those are better swords. You always ramble like this. All the frickin' time, yes. All right, where is everybody? Well, it looks like the weird two-headed cow is left, which is good, like, for my si- Okay, uh, I'm blind. Hello there. So, I took a walk over to the place that you pointed out. You find those raiders? Yeah, we had a lovely conversation, a spot of tea, and they played Russian roulette without me, but the gun was fully loaded. And I held the gun. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Okay, well, there's only two of you, so... I guess we'll have to work on that. For right now, I think. Oh! Shit, those guys are back. You guys just get here? 
Fuck, I'm surprised that an outpost consisting of two people is actually on your, like, list of places to stop by. It's for the food. God, if I know. I have no idea what they're growing in that farm. Probably tomatoes enhanced via the H1N1 virus. H1N1 died off centuries ago. Yeah, well, I'm still not gonna... Cough next to anyone at the airport paranoid about Ebola. If there's an airport left. <laughs> Let alone anything resembling air travel. Hmm. We should head back to Sanctuary. Listen, I gotta confirm something before we do that ever again. Are you moving body parts around when we teleport? Sorry. Do you I, want the I, truth I or a comforting lie? Right the truth. Obviously. In that case, no. Wait, the, the, what was the comforting lie? Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. It's probably best I don't find out. Where the hell is Preston? What the hell? Who the hell's putting shotgun shells in Rose's mailbox? Okay. That's weird. Ah, Preston! Preston! Preston, I did the thing! Just when you think you're Preston, safe, the thing is done! That's how they always get you. Okay, you need to take a nap. Anyway, Preston! Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. Yeah, I noticed that. I just finished building this thing earlier this morning. Anyway, the thing's done. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use Nice! Yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. Uh, no, you didn't. How I ended up as the last one. Yeah, that's gotta suck for you, man. So, you really the last Minutemen? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. You keep talking about the Quincy Massacre. What exactly was the Quincy Massacre, if I may ask? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Uh, yeah, yeah, it sucks. No, I know how you feel. I know what it's like to be the last survivor. It's not fun. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I don't know where you're going with this. Why can't you do it? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Look, I'm clumsy, I'm a bit of a slob, and I'm just a combat engineer from the war. What makes you think that I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. He has a point. He does have a point, which is why I haven't walked away yet. Uh, you know what? Screw it, let's go for it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. All right, cool. <laughs> so, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But oh. I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is... There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. 
Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Um, kind of a tone shift, but what's up? Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Okay then, goals have been established, let's move out. Come dog, we must save the Commonwealth. Not much in saving the rest of the nation, but the Commonwealth is a good start. Oh, ha, ha, look who's picking up some sarcasm. It is an ineffective means of humor. Very few would see through my monotone speech. Yeah, I guess there's really no effective way for us to fix that, is there? So, I... Not amused. I am. <laughs> okay, so much that needs to be done. We have to find Sean, we have to rebuild the Minutemen, we have to find me a bowl of sugar bombs. Sugar bombs? You don't know how badly I'm starving right now. We have a job to do. I'll settle for some potato crisps, but this is not negotiable. I can get incredibly snacky, and if the need arises, I will raid an entire fridge. Granted, most of the time it's my fridge, but still, an entire fridge. Priorities. Damn right, priorities. Fancy lad snack cakes, sugar bombs, the works. So for some ramen, look, we got an entire water's tower worth of water to make it with. I cannot advise that. Ramen is high in sodium. I'm not talking that cup noodle crap. I'm talking real ramen. Delicious. And they serve it to you in a bowl. Traditional, sophisticated food. The dinner of champions in my book. Looks like the lights are on over here. Building it right underneath a huge power line. That's, uh, that's safe. I mean, I guess you could hook it into what's left of the city's power grid, and I guess that's why the lights are on. You think the power grid is still working? Evidence points to yes. Both the factory and the museum had the lights on. And you said we still had Wi-Fi out here. Not here specifically, but yes. Well, put two and two together. Something's got to be keeping those things running. If all goes well, Codsworth will be making us coffee before the week is out. Which we'll need, because we are up very late, it seems. When's the last time you slept? Not important. I am to ensure the safety of all vault residents. Thus, I cannot advise you neglecting a sleep schedule. <laughs> okay, Mom. Message received. In bed by eight. That's a bit early. <laughs> a bit? Uh, well, we just hit the dam. This has the potential to go excruciatingly poorly. Nothing tells me it already is. Oh, hello, scary dog. You don't grant wishes, do you? No? Okay. Then you have no place in my world. Now, back to the terribly scary dam. Scary in what way? In that we'll probably die because I have no cover. That truck right there? That's an ambush waiting to happen. I'll bet you there's raider bastards behind that truck saying, Come here, little boy! And then next thing we know, I'm being attacked by a chloroform-soaked pillow pet. Creative. Thanks. Let's cross this bastard. You cross here before? Once, but I was late. The base is on the other side. I was still in the army at the time, and uh, that wasn't a very effective route. I see. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like we have a car anymore anyway. Well, I guess I do have a car, but it's one that I really, really, really need to take to Jiffy. Like it! Yeah, no, 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 never mind the car. Legs are fine. Wonder, can we get this open? Probably. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. That thing's impenetrable. Could only be safer inside a tank. Damn it! I have the worst luck with doors. I think it all started with that one in the vault. I was not there for that. Was there an issue? Yeah, the door malfunctioned, so I hit it with a hammer. How big? You know, just a ball peen hammer. It didn't work. <sighs> so, we're supposed to clear this place, or, or what? Seems pretty clear to me. There's a computer. Uh, I suppose I could see if that does anything. If it starts the robot uprising, I'll know I did my job wrong. 
So, let's see how easily I hack into this machine. It's not that one. Got it! Already? You weren't timing me? No. Time me next time! My current record is three seconds. That was like 3.2, so record still stands. What did you hack in three seconds? Chinese launch code container. But not nukes, just long-range ballistics. I'm gonna get the Mr. Handy out of the way. Did you use them? Huh? Well, use what? Actually, hold that thought. Are you high? Where are you going? Wouldn't the maintenance shed be... Okay, he's leaving. What's up, dog meat? Is it the dead ghoul? I bet it's the dead ghoul. You don't like ghouls, do you? That's why you jump on top of them and break their neck in between your teeth. Anyway, uh, use what? The missiles. Our artillery pieces had been destroyed and we were tasked with taking out an armored column. We were the last ones out there, so our CEO had us sneak into a nearby cruise missile launch station, which they had used to blow up our artillery. We used that to blow up all of their tanks and then ran like hell. Anyway, before I pick that lock, is there anything inside that's worth taking? No, not particularly, but I'll open it anyway. Actually, I'm curious, how big is this map of yours? The satellite uplink allows me to map the entire Boston area. More mapping can be done, if necessary. Nice, so I got a GPS. Now all I need is for you to give me route advisement. Anyway, let's get in there and stab some rad roaches. Watch me pick this lock in two seconds. Done. You don't stop, do you? No, I really don't. Mighty stab! Oh, so cool. I need a sword. And not just some tiny thing, no, I mean a really big sword. I want to be like that guy in the anime. Which anime? All of them! All of them have big swords! What happened to American culture? Well, I like both. I was just a huge nerd. When it came to my squadron, I was like the Daniel Jackson of the group. Daniel Jackson? Uh, he's from... You know what, never mind. I keep up these pop culture references, we might be here all night. Speaking of which... What are we doing here? Uh, I was just doing a sweep of the area. Doing this building next. Have at thee, foul swine! On guard! We shall reclaim this holy place! Deus vult! Ave Maria! My time is now! My cause is just! And I stand ready to reclaim this place from the likes of thee! Now you and the forces of... Mary, give me a name. Dave. Dave? The forces of Dave, really? You put me on the spot. And in my hour of need, thou hast failed! Ugh. Well, someone didn't have a fun time on the way to the bathroom. How about you? What happened to... Skull crush! These rad roaches think they own the place. This is a false assumption. For soon, they'll be dead. Mankind will rise once again against the weird rabid mole people, the giant cockroaches, the dead zombies that run at us, and the dinosaurs. Especially dinosaurs. Because by God, not, not in my good Christian neighborhood. I'm an atheist, but in the slight chance that there is hell, I will see you there. Right, I hope Lord Satan himself is crushing your skull much like I am again. And again, for like 15,000 times. I think that man is dead. Not that he wasn't already dead, being what a mindless zombie. Honestly, I did him a favor. Good that you can look at it like that. Yeah, I'm a nice person. Which is a good thing, because I have reason to believe there aren't a lot of those left. Anyway, let's uh, do a couple more merciful deeds. Wait, hold on, sir, I gotta reload. Hold on, sir! Oh, look, it's the one guy who's resilient. I'm not exactly handing these out, okay? I have a limited number of shotgun shells. Hi, hey, dog meat, nice of you to show up. Actually, you know what? Maybe you could help me. My associate dog meat here is gonna be taking your order from now on. Except this person, he looks normal. He deals with me. How's this? Some kid's cruel drawing of a two-headed moose. 
And a bush with eyes. Kind of looks like something little Timmy would be called down to the principal's office over. And then meanwhile, in reality, everyone's killing and maiming and giving each other the finger. Police morale is at an all-time low because gun control is... It's gone. At this point, it's just gone. Could be worse. No, not really. Anyway... So he said set up a radio beacon? Do you know how to do that? He scribbled some instructions down on a napkin. I can make this work. Hey, do you have like a stopwatch app in that computer brain of yours? Not specifically, but I can keep track. Awesome. Time me on this. I'm going in. Time <laughs> goes in slot. Yeah! Oh, time! Seven minutes and 23 seconds. Yes! I am invincible, but does it work? Because I had less trouble with my Commodore 64. Yeah, no, it's working. Look, people already showed up. How's it going? Yeah, I built that. I built that thing. I, I used wires and stuff. I'm not impressed. Maybe it's not an uncommon skill. Yeah, well, I'll have the last laugh when I build my fortress of defiance. Is teleporting supposed to be itchy? And is it supposed to be morning? The itching is an uncommon side effect, and matter reformation takes time. So basically, this isn't a time-saving method. Honestly, I could have just walked here and probably gotten here sooner. That's one way of looking at it. Splendid! <laughs> hmm. You alright? Hmm? Uh, I'm just looking around. Thinking about everything. <sighs> you sure you're alright? You know what, if we're gonna be honest with each other, no, I don't think I am. I think reality is starting to set in and I don't like it. But it's like, like every time I look at this house, this room, just... <sighs> you lost everything in an instant. In a way, I think everyone saw it coming. Everyone seemed to be in the mentality that war was inevitable and all we could do was prepare. <sighs> That's a load of crap. But every time I look through this house, it's just... One minute we were talking about going to the park, the next... We're running for our lives. I'll stop complaining ah, when there's shit. nothing left to complain about. Having a moment here! Was unaware that this was a universe where you just walk into a man's house! Wait, there's Preston. Finally. Got my reminiscing out of the way. Time to talk to my subordinate. My single subordinate. Need something? Uh, white chocolate mocha grande with foam, but let's settle for the fact that, uh, the job's done. How's that? That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, They'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. Oh, good. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Assisting Another more helpless people. Joy. Well, I suppose I could do this while I make my way over to Diamond City. Wherever the hell that is. I marked it. How would you even know where it is? A combination of deduction, computer logs referencing it, and the fact Miss Murphy said it was downtown. It's pretty close to where we're trying to get to now, actually. It looks like where the old baseball stadium used to be. We'll go from the car factory, see where we can get. <laughs> There's that itching again. Ugh. Seems like just the other day we were here and oh wait, yeah, we were. Yeah, that was loads of fun. Really? No! Pick up on my sarcasm! Sorry. Still learning. <sighs> Aren't we all? A lot of us are learning something stupid, but at least we're learning. How stupid can it get? Well, let's see. Twilight Sparkle opened up a school of friendship in season eight of My Little Pony. Wait, why? I don't know, because they wanted to sell toys or something. Not what I meant. Why did you watch that show? I don't know, because it was a nice escape from reality. What? Wait. Mary, tune to that. Problem. It's on a military frequency. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum 95. 
Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Cambridge Police... Okay, I know where that is. Go ahead and shut it off. Detour. Detour. Preston Garvey's stuff can wait. They said they're under attack now. So, where is Cambridge Police Station? In Cambridge? Not very specific. West Cambridge? Look, Cambridge isn't that big. There's not... What the fuck fuck is that? I don't know it. Was that a giant scorpion? Did a giant scorpion just... Holy oh, damn it! Christmas! It's not bad enough you're a giant scorpion! You gotta scare the ever-living shit out of me! God damn it! Climb up the walls, I don't think scorpions can- Oh, son of a bitch! I don't think scorpions can climb- <laughs> Strategy. Right now, a lot of panic. How the hell am I supposed to react to a giant scorpion? <laughs> son of a bitch! There it is! Okay, just sit here. Go bang, 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 until it eventually dies. Work during the war should work here just the same. Of course, it would help if... Oh, shit. Just stay there, dog meat. I'll handle this. We need a new plan. I have one, but you're probably not going to like it. What is it? I'm going to set him on fire. Whoo, doggy, that burns. Not you, dog meat. You'll be fine, don't worry. Not sure if this will help, but I think we drove him off for now. No, we did not. No, we did not. Ugh, now I need stims. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Feeling like a million dollars. Then this thing's feeling dead. All in all, the world is a better place. <sighs> this was an average day in the life of Matthew Howard, and it was the worst day of that scorpion's life. Because it was the last day. Was there a lift here? Click. Okay. Up. Yes. We are going up. That is what's happening now. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting to happen. How'd you get up here? You know what? I'm, I'm done questioning you. Can you see the station from here? Yeah, it's nestled in right around there. Honestly, I'm just up here trying to get a lay of the land. If I may ask, why do you know where it is? Well, if you think I was involved in a cartel or something, I can assure you it was nothing serious. I've just driven by it a couple times. Oh, right. I keep forgetting you used to live here. Who programs forgetfulness into an artificial intelligence? A few things slip through the cracks. I can't imagine why there would be cracks in the creation of something as significant as artificial intelligence. And things like what? My unquenchable bloodlust. Oh, good. Remind me not to plug you into any computers or I might accidentally start the robot uprising. That was a joke. Well, keep working on it. That was terrible. Damn it! There's no Nuka-Cola. That's your focus. I'm trying to multitask. I'm hearing gunfire, trying to deal with your bad attempt at humor, and the utter lack of Nuka-Cola in this entire region. You may be exaggerating. I may be hallucinating. Having your life fall apart before your very eyes in the course of one day will do that to a man. Not touching that. Good, because there's a sore spot. Well, let's ride for the hills! God damn, who's setting these things up? Setting them up for who? Oh, setting them up for you! Bastards! I'm seeing a pattern emerge here. We walk into a major city center and you guys just start showing up. You're like zombies. You're crawling out exactly like zo- Fuckers! See that? Mankind harnessed the power of fire- Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Here we go with the cars again. Dogmeat, are you okay? <laughs> I certainly am. <sighs> hey, sorry about that, dogmeat. Old Matthew Howard harnessed the power of fire and wanted to use it on somebody. 
Thanks to that used it on you! Hold him down! Hold him down! God, I don't know who's making more noise out here. Whoever's around the corner or me? I don't know. Close competition. I'm throwing Molotov cocktails and blowing up cars. What are you guys doing? Lasers? Sounds like fun. I'm in. Hey, how's it going? I'm here to help. Is that a T-60? Well, obviously you guys are well equipped. And I right, just tell me who to point the gun at. Cause... <laughs> Never mind. I think I got the picture. You guys have set up yourselves a nice little fort. Just defend said fort. Yeah. Sounds good. Judging by the positions that yeah, definitely a T60. We may have a curious a Okay, maybe not right now. But definitely a conversation topic for the future. Damn it! Just sit! Damn! Oh, do not argue with Matthew Howard when he's holding a shotgun! What about you guys? Argue with Matthew Howard while he still has a shotgun? No? Okay. Oh, here comes another one! There he is! Oh, there's like ten of them! Please hold! A cleansing is in progress! Allow me to load my soap! Now granted, it's not very effective soap. It gets red stuff everywhere. <laughs> it certainly makes me feel good. <sighs> is that it? We done? Well, the bullets stopped flying. I think we could assume- <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna have a heart attack by the end of the day. How you doing? You guys all right? We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Oh, you know, nothing much. Pest exterminator. Heard you had a feral problem. Came to take care of it. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Okay, clearly you're taking this seriously. So, I too will take this seriously. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Is this just common? Everyone needs help out here? I'm not entirely sure. I would help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you guys? You're way more organized than the Minutemen. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're Hello. on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Arc jet systems, huh? Yeah, sure. It's a good plan. You know, if we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Well, I wouldn't either. Confidence in your abilities, confidence in my own. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese. Once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Here, yeah, give me yeah, one of these. Okay. I used like 10 on the way here. This detour just got more extensive. Yeah, but I did take a red pill this morning. Was that another reference? Machines! I'm not getting it. No, no, you're really not. And I'll doubt we'll find a VHS and a copy of The Matrix. Is this your supply stash? <laughs> you guys weren't kidding. I'm gonna take a look around. Must be something here we can use. What do you expect to find? Pistol cartridges, spare gun parts, anything at this point. It's a police station. There's gotta be something. See? There we go. Guns, meds, handcuffs, confiscated drugs, a dog who is in my face. Please move, dog mate. You may think you're helping, but you're really not. Ooh, hollow tape. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. 
Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now, with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000-volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere. Uh, it's just some pre-war crap about our underfunded so police department. Eddie Winters. Sounds familiar. Acquaintance. Not even slightly. Probably heard it on TV. Either way, he is most definitely dead now. God. Eyeballs adjusting. Eh. Cans. No matter how petty you get, you can always collect cans. And if you can't cry, might as well laugh. <laughs> I don't think we're at that point yet. If not, we're getting close. I tell you, we're one accident away from being a vegetable lying in bed twiddling my thumbs. That's pretty low regard for yourself. Mary, I got stabbed by a giant scorpion today. Multiple times, I might add. I'm not holding myself in low regard, I'm holding what stands in our way in high regard. I mean, I'm awesome. Is everyone else- you some kind of hotshot? I'm sorry, I was just here monologuing, but do you have a problem with me? You sound angry. I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Well, if that's your opinion... Damn right it is. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? Welcome to the fun club, huh? Sorry about the other guys. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. I was wallowing in self-pity anyway. Ooh, hollow ta- Nah, probably shouldn't. <sighs> anyway, I've picked this place clean. Mr. Dan's! Ready to move out? Yeah, should I turn around or- You'll turn- Okay, you'll turn around. Yeah. Yeah, we're ready to go. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Oh, I don't. Where were you keeping that? I didn't see it friggin- Okay. Follow the man with the magic helmet. All right, Mr. Magic Helmet. Lead the way. I'm merely here to... Not now, dog meat. We'll take this out and follow me. Right, got it. I'm good at following orders. Stuck right behind my sergeant back during the war. Where exactly is this place? I'm not sure where it is. Arc Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Is that wise? Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If you're sure. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Well, that sounds... suspicious. What are you thinking? Could be the people that took Sean. And it could not. Yeah, but we can't rule that out. These people knew how to break into a vault. They were organized, well-equipped, and... a hell of a revolver. Really good arm. Anyway! Are you guys alone out here? It might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Oh? Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. Only two? The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. And they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, We've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Well, that's some good optimism. We don't have a lot of that out here. So it's kind of a friend. What the? That's how we do it in the okay, I don't know what that was, but... Gross. Matthew, a moment. Dan's, hold on. Yeah, what's up? Do you think we are getting sidetracked? Not in the slightest, actually. We still need to find your son. And that's the long-term goal. Right now, I need to build bridges. I'm gonna need help on this one. The dog's not enough. Makes sense. Precisely. Hey, Dan's! Let's get moving. Just don't lose track of our long-term goal. I know. 
I haven't given up. Wake up to the job of the bell. No sweat, now feeling swell. Gee golly, it's a beautiful day. You're gonna burn my troubles away. I'm going to live. Light up the town. Astute observation, Mrs. Uh, the. <laughs> All right, second line. We're doing good.